Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about all the books that I read this month in April. <laughs> been quite a good reading month for me. Lately I've been just really in the reading mood and for me reading three books in a month is um, getting back to my regular amount of books that I read. It's been a long time since I've read this many books in a month. I've just been feeling so much better lately regarding university and right now I'm only doing half of my course so I have a lot more spare time. So that is why I'm super excited to be focusing more on booktube again and I also just want to read so much more in the spare time that I have so if you guys have any video ideas or challenges or whatever let me know in the comments down below because I want to film so many more videos now and um, I would really love to do more unique concepts as well. In April I read three books well I mean I'm actually pre-filming this book so today it is April the 28th so I still have two days three days kind of to read so I'm pretty sure that I can finish the third book that I'm reading right now. The first book that I finished is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I don't know it's like a Spanish culture book so I'm guessing that that is the way how you pronounce her last name. This was such a different book from what I usually read. This is inspired by like slam poetry and it's written all in slam poetry. It's mainly focused on our main character and she has a really hard time dealing with like her family going through puberty and religion and it all kind of collides together. It was so refreshing to read something in a poetry style again. It really touched me, made you think so much about how these three kind of like subjects work together, work against each other, and to see our main character go through that. So I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think, let's check on my Goodreads, by the way, because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads and you can follow me on there, but you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, plus I also have an email address. So you can follow my social media pages if you want, I will leave it in the description bar down below. And you can also subscribe if you want to, please. <laughs> I looked up on my Goodreads and I gave The Poet X a 4.25 out of 5 stars. Throughout the week I live in Utrecht, which is one of the biggest cities here in the Netherlands, and I study there at the university. So I also have one big bookshelf over there, and I was thinking, okay, I should finally get to some of the books that I have there as well. So I picked up Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a book book. Oh my god, this book by the way. <laughs> okay, this book, it makes me so enthusiastic. In Truly Devious we have two different kind of plots that we follow at the same time. It is all about Ellingham Academy, this really big like boarding school set up by Albert Ellingham. Back in 1936 his wife and daughter were kidnapped, his wife turned up dead, and his daughter we don't know where she went, but it was all done, worked out by this person or persons who called themselves Truly Devious. In the now, we follow Stevie, our main character, a girl who is obsessed with the Ellingham murders, and she's going to the school she's been accepted, and while she attends Ellingham Academy, the past kind of repeats itself, and a student gets murdered, and it's all about Stevie trying to solve both murder cases kind of and I enjoyed the first book in this trilogy so incredibly much. I never thought that I would like murder mystery books. I really love them in TV shows. Sherlock is one of my favorite shows of all time but in books I feel like it just goes a little bit too slow. Like you have to put so much hours in reading a book versus a one and a half hour Sherlock episode. I mean it's kind of I think definitely from now on I will read many more mystery kind of themed books. I don't know what it was that I loved the most, but one of the things which I really enjoyed was the back and forth between then and now. I really like going back in history and like seeing how things happened. It just makes it feel so much like, I don't know, it just has such nice vibes and the whole boarding school element just was totally up my alley. The only thing that I would say which I didn't enjoy as much about this book is that there are so many characters. Like there are a lot of characters. I could definitely feel for like the main character and a couple of the side characters. I really enjoy them all but there are just so many. So if you do not pay attention that well or you like read this book and then pick it up the next week you will probably have forgotten which characters are 
who. Other than that, it kept my attention the whole time. I gave this one a five out of five stars, which I don't really do that often. Especially one thing that I don't do often is continuing a series immediately and trying to finish it. But after reading this one, I immediately picked up The Vanishing Stare, which is its sequel. I'm currently reading this one. I am like two thirds of the way through and I think that I can finish this one on Tuesday before May starts. I cannot tell you anything about the plot of The Vanishing Stare because it's a sequel, but let me tell you that I'm enjoying it just as much as the first book. And the third book is gonna come out in January, so it will be a couple of months of waiting, which is a shame. I don't know, these books are really good and I think this is gonna be one of my new favorite series. A book that I'm still reading, which I promised to finish last month, is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The thing is that I've noticed is that I do enjoy the book when I'm reading it, but it's kind of a little bit slow. It's just not a hundred percent what I love. So that is why I'm still reading it. I'm gonna force myself to finish it in May because I only have like a hundred pages left. Okay guys, those are all the books that I read in April. I'm super excited for May. I think I'm gonna try and do a little challenge in May. So if everything works out, a video will be uploaded in June about that. But there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You can also find all of my different social media pages there as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!